San Diego and the Humane Society of the United States reached an agreement that essentially ends captive breeding of orcas and it phases out those crowd-pleasing shows that feature the black and white whales. The surprise announcement came this morning from the head of SeaWorld and the Society. In a prepared video statement, SeaWorld CEO Joel Manby said the world is changing and it's time that SeaWorld changed too. I think it's a good thing that the younger people coming up in our society are more concerned about animals. They're more concerned about conservation efforts. I actually think SeaWorld should be at the epicenter of that. We should be helping lead those efforts. But the way we, uh, I think some people were uncomfortable with our orcas, it uh, was something that we needed to listen to and we needed to evolve. SeaWorld attendance suffered in recent years as animal rights advocates turned the public spotlight on the orcas. A documentary called Blackfish was critical of how the theme park company handled and cared for its killer whales. That film got a wide public audience when it was added to the Netflix streaming service. People for the ethical treatment of animals, however, aren't satisfied. They say the company should give up its orcas. The head of the Humane Society of the United States, Wayne Pacelli, said in a video statement that the company is taking a bold step. You know, we're really focused on not bringing additional animals into that environment. And I think it's really momentous that SeaWorld has agreed to stop additional captive breeding of orcas. They had already stopped wild captures decades ago. So this is essentially going to sunset the use of orcas, which have been central to the brand image of SeaWorld. SeaWorld will highlight the remaining 29 orcas at its theme parks with natural displays. It'll use the new partnership with the society to develop interpretive programs that highlight conservation and expand advocacy for wild whales and other marine mammals. The performance shows will be phased out here in San Diego sometime next year, and then that will follow in San Antonio, Texas, and the other SeaWorld Park in Orlando, Florida. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.